Meet Scott Zagrozczyk. He's a co-founder of the Sprout Word Digital Agency. I've been in the mostly the e-commerce uh, e e-commerce analytics space for probably about 15 years. Um, grew up working with a lot of big brands, Victoria's Secret, Adidas, uh, Staples, um, Shoes.com, which was uh, later acquired by Walmart. Um, but really, really, it was on the digital marketing, I'm sorry, the digital analytics side. Uh, so, you know, expert in Adobe Analytics and, and Google Analytics, implementations, tag management, kind of all that fun stuff. When Scott's team set out to build a data pipeline in BigQuery, they didn't have any engineers on staff. So they picked up our Build Your Agency Data Pipeline course and hired us at Coding is for Losers to help them kickstart their pipeline. You know, I was looking at Supermetrics and I literally just came across your course for $1,000. I, I, I think I bought it in like a minute. I mean, I was like, that is, this that has to be like, we're saving money by me not like buying this. So, and then there was a picture of you with long hair leaning against a tree and telling me about data pipelines. Scott set out to build truly universal reporting for their e-commerce clients, pulling in all of the email, paid acquisition, and whatever other data sources each of their clients actually used. A lot of times our company will almost be like an acting CMO. Um, and we'll walk into these companies and they're in the reportings all over the place, right? They've got marketers going into all the different tools separately, you know, all the manual kind of Excel stuff that you're used to seeing, um, very siloed data structures, you know, things like that. So we ended up starting to building, you know, universal reporting internally. Um, and we were even taking a fairly kind of manual approach in a lot of cases. So I think it was to, you know, really when we first met with, went met with you, we were, we were really kicking the tires on just trying to make the process a little better. And I think what we saw from you guys was um, just sort of a clear uh, and a sort of approachable way to get into it. I think we knew we didn't want to go with Data Studio on the front end just because it's, it's free. I think we, we did want, if we want to, if we wanted more polish on our side or if we eventually want to charge more for it, um, I, I do want that to be a differentiator that we can, you know, tightly white label it. Um, we do have thoughts around embedding. Um, we use Looker, I don't know if I probably said that already. So like I mentioned, Scott ended up hiring us at Coding is for Losers to help kickstart their data pipeline and build out the first iteration of their process. Eventually they brought on an internal technical lead and we passed off the project for them to take to the next level. I think we're always gonna have the same data pipeline layers that you kind of you helped us build, right? So that the ETL component, the transformation and modeling layer, um, and then also obviously the, the BI and the visualization layer. So um, when we started, we were working in, you know, especially from an ETL perspective, we had, you know, we were using Stitch and Supermetrics, which is kind of like where you got to, where you got to set up. Yeah. Um, I think where we've evolved, evolved there is that those guys can handle lots of, uh, you know, pretty common vendors, but we work with, we work with a lot of, we're very heavy in e-commerce, but we work with a lot of folks that are, you know, probably in that 50 to 200 or 300 million a year size. And you're talking, they have a dozen platforms in their enterprise grade stuff, right? Salesforce marketing cloud and, you know, impact radius and, and like all these like, much more complicated APIs. And, you know, we had to, we basically had to find different ways to ingest data from different people. Um, getting data from email attachments, email from, you know, getting data from FTP locations, S3 buckets. Like we basically had to find different ways to grab all that um, to really build out like a full, right? A full report because a report um, or an analytics dashboard is not, not, you know, it's great if it has most of your platforms, but it's awesome if it has all of them. Let's take a quick peek at that universal cross-channel reporting dashboard that Scott built in Looker. If you remember, one of the big challenges we had for you, and I, I'm sure it kept you up at least a couple of nights, was mapping data at the campaign level and like ad set and all that stuff from, from the platform, from Facebook, say all the way down to Google Analytics, right? And every client's different. Every customer, everyone maps their stuff a little different. Uh, so we had to solve that one. And we took it, I think you, you took us to like the campaign level. Yeah. And there were a lot of, I'd say boundaries on like how we could make that work. We could choose like a single dimension 
Like we could say like, okay, take Google Analytics as campaign value and map it to Facebook's campaign name. And if like that didn't work, then you're kind of out of luck. Mm -hmm. So we, we really, we really blew out the mapping portion of that. Now we can write, you can write multiple rules against it. You can say if platform is Facebook ads and the campaign name matches this regex and the ad set matches this regex, then set it as whatever. So it's, we almost have a basically a different set of case statements or business rules um, for all these mappings. We've seen very few people be able to solve this. There are a couple of important wins from building out this data pipeline that Scott wanted to share. It's a huge time saving, right? I mean, if we have some junior folks and analysts and things like that, uh, you know, account directors and things like that, that we're just going and pulling this stuff from lots of different places and just like incredible amounts of Excel work, you know, like every week, right? You know, and it's, it's a super common thing and there's lots of tools out there that solve it, right? You know, that's, that's what Supermetric says it solves. Like that's what, uh, you know, Funnel says they solve all that kind of stuff. Um, but really, that's that's probably the number one win, is that you know we could come in and do of that. Of course, saving time is a huge win. But I wasn't surprised to hear Scott mention some softer, more human wins from building out their pipeline. It almost it just elevated our agency uh, from just a competence perspective, where we could start working with someone and within a week or two have the majority of their data sources connected in like a really shiny nice dashboard, license, login, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, for them, it just, I think we've had engagements that have just gone so much smoother from the beginning um, because we just had a lot more polish around, uh, around the reporting. So um, I'd say those are, I mean, those are probably the big ones. Um, you know, we charge for some of the reporting and stuff. So, I mean, that's nice. Extra revenue streams are cool. Um, but, you know, I think, I think time savings and, um, you know, just adding some polish to stuff that we were already doing anyway. Um, and also just, you know, helps, we just know it's going to work, right? We don't have to rely on a junior person to go update some report. It's just, it's there, right? And so it's there Monday morning. Thanks again to Scott for sharing his data pipeline story. I'll have links below to check out more about their work and I'll see you next time.